okay so welcome to framework section so in this section we are going to build appium framework from scratch so these are the different features we are going to build and create one end to end framework for running our appium test cases okay so in the last few sections we have learnt a basics about what is maven and how can that help in building the framework and also we have seen about test ng right so we also seen about how to create page object pattern so what all we have learnt we are going to use in this section in building our framework if you have not yet watched those sections please go back and complete my maven test ng and page object sections so that you can follow this particular section smoothly all right so let's start the game i'll be using the obvious which is eclipse editor to teach this whole framework topic which we are using throughout our course so just to make you um feel the difference that we are doing something advanced i have changed the layout of my eclipse to dark theme so just to differentiate that we are doing framework videos than regular appium stuff whatever been we are learning so if you want to get this theme go to window preferences and type theme here appearance so i have selected dark theme okay so by default it will be classic theme select the dark theme and i just clicked on apply and restarted my eclipse to take the effect okay it's up to you you can use any theme so but i am wishing to use this dark theme to teach this framework section just to give you some fresh feel on viewing this video nothing different you can still stay on whatever you are liking all right so let's start with the first point create the maven project for framework structure generation so i have clearly explained that if you create a project with maven standard maven itself will give you the industry standard structure to create your framework instead of you creating few things and packages just create one maven project and that will take care of all this let's do that so i have explained creating maven project using commands in my previous section but if you are using this framework on eclipse you can directly create that maven project here itself so i'll be showing one more way to create maven project in this lecture for you so file new java project and here where you can create a java project which you till till the last lecture right now let's create maven so file new just the other and it will ask you which project you want to create i am interested in creating maven this time okay maven project and click on next so here we can just say that create a simple project by skipping architect selection or you can just click on advanced and say what are different profiles you need so for now click on next and here from catalog just select maven architect quick start plugin so this artifact id is enough for us in creating test automation framework so if you are developing web apps you need to select that template so basically it's asking us to provide which kind of template you need to create this project structure so for us for testing perspective quick start template is enough that's what i have shown you when i create this project from command prompt when i am talking in maven section so simply select this quick start we need not require all these these are for web development stuff click on next 
right so group id and artifact id these two are the parameters which you need to provide if you want to create a maven project so group id can be given is nothing but it's a package name so you can tell it as um, artifact id we can just say appium framework and group id uh, just give us practice so this is how your package looks package dot practice dot appium framework click on finish and now you will see that particular project generation as I said appium framework is your project name so whatever artifact ID you give that comes as your project name so inside that group ID will be as the name of your package you see that practice is your group ID and appium framework is an artifact ID so that's how you can see group dot artifact okay and it has created you the dummy structure so in this structure you need to now go and start creating your test cases and develop framework from scratch so there are two folders source slash main slash java and source slash test slash java and jrs system is 1.5 which is too old we will make that to latest don't worry for now and of course this is the heart of your maven project palm.xml so here where you will bring all your apm and selenium dependencies instead of just hard coding the jars on your project build path you will provide all your dependencies in this palm.xml perfect so we have successfully created an outer structure of our framework using maven so in our next lecture let's try to build some appium tests into this project and also fill up this form.xml with required dependencies and see if we can trigger this um, test cases from this maven repository okay thank you